another year, and yet another Gamescom. As Gamescom 2024 is on the verge of conclusion, a lot of exciting games announcements have happened. In this video, we'll take a look at 20 of the biggest. So without any delays, let's jump right in. Sniper Elite Resistance the next installment in Rebellion's third-person stealth shooter series, Sniper Elite, has been announced, though it seems like the developer is taking a break from numbered entries. During the Gamescom opening night live pre-show, the developer unveiled Sniper Elite Resistance. Sniper Elite Resistance's campaign runs parallel to Sniper Elite 5 and stars Special Operations Executive, SOE, Agent Harry Hawker, instead of usual series protagonist Carl Fairburn. Hawk discovers an insidious and powerful new Nazi Wunderwaffer that could win the enemy the war, following which it falls to him to foil their machinations. The new game will feature a standalone campaign, the return of the invasion mode, multiplayer, and more. Sniper Elite Resistance launches in 2025 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam, Epic Game Store, and the Windows Store. The game will also be available via Game Pass on day one. Borderlands 4 The Borderlands franchise had a less than ideal attempt at making the jump to film to say the very least, but series fans still have plenty to look forward to. After repeated teases suggesting the same, Borderlands 4 has been officially announced, with the looter shooter kicking off Gamescom opening night live as the show's first announcement. The cinematic reveal trailer doesn't give much away, nor have 2K or Gearbox shared any specific information on the title, instead only confirming that players will once again step into the shoes of Vault Hunters and dive into an adventure on an all-new planet. Beyond that, details are pretty scarce. Borderlands 4 will launch at some point in 2025 for the PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. A specific release date has yet to be confirmed. Directive 8020 Release Date after teasing an appearance at Gamescom Opening Night Live, Supermassive Games have finally revealed Directive 8020. As part of the Dark Pictures series, it's a sci-fi horror title which seemingly focuses on body horror. Developed on Unreal Engine 5, Directive 8020 is about the colony ship Cassiopeia crashing onto a planet called Tau Ceti F. Unfortunately, they run into an alien life form that can mimic them, promising all new stealth gameplay mechanics, players can also utilize improvised weapons. Throughout all of this, you can never be sure if you're speaking to a crew member or an alien, making those choices even more challenging. The trailer focuses on Young, an astronaut played by Hollywood actor Lashana Lynch. Expect other noteworthy characters to be revealed over time. Directive 8020 launches in 2025 for the Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC. Dying Light The Beast Techland has announced a new installment in the Dying Light franchise. With support for Dying Light 2 continuing, at Gamescom Opening Night Live, the studio also unveiled Dying Light The Beast, a new standalone installment that will offer a new 20-hour-long zombie-slaying adventure. According to Techland, it started development as story DLC for Dying Light 2 before being spun off as its own title. Significantly, Dying Light protagonist Kyle Crane will once again take a starring role, with voice actor Roger Craig Smith set to reprise the role. The game will see him escaping from captivity after enduring 13 years of experiments, with players' new mission being to seek retribution before discovering that there may be more at stake. Players will be able to use beastly powers in combat, while four-player co-op will also be supported. Interestingly enough, those who own Dying Light 2's Ultimate Edition will get access to Dying Light The Beast at no additional cost, what well, with the game having started out as DLC for that title as previously mentioned. Dying Light The Beast is in development for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. A release date will be announced later in the year, so stay tuned. Reanimal Tarsier Studios teased its new horror IP in gruesome fashion, and at Gamescom Opening Night Live, it finally revealed the name, Reanimal. The story focuses on a brother and sister who venture to save their friends and escape a terrifying island. The gameplay is highly reminiscent of Little Nightmares 1 and 2, with the duo exploring haunting, dark environments. Various horrors emerge, including a massive creature pursuing them on what seems to be a comically small tricycle. Its scale is impressive, with extensive draw distances and surreal environments on this bizarre island. 
Reanimal doesn't have a release window, but it's coming to PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Like the upcoming Little Nightmares 3, online co-op is supported, allowing two players to work together. However, it also supports local play, though you can still go about it solo. Starfield Land Vehicle Shattered Space Release Date Bethesda Game Studios confirmed earlier in the year that it would finally be adding a land vehicle with a free update later in 2024 itself, and now we know exactly when to expect it. You can actually download the update right now. Confirmed at Gamescom opening night live with a new trailer, Starfield will add a new drivable land vehicle in the form of the Rev-8. In addition to serving as a buggy that you can drive on any of the planets you land on throughout the game's massive interstellar map, the Rev-8 will also come equipped with jetpacks and even weapons to aid in combat. Meanwhile, Bethesda have also confirmed that Starfield Shattered Space, the space RPG's first major expansion, is set to launch on September 30th, as previous leaks had repeatedly suggested. Batman Arkham Shadow Release Date Announced earlier this year, Camouflage and Oculus Studios' Batman Arkham Shadow is set to deliver a new chapter in the Arkham series, this time in the form of a virtual reality adventure. And at Gamescom Opening Night Live, we finally got our first look at what gameplay will look like. As you'd expect, Batman Arkham Shadow will be played from a first-person perspective, and as Batman takes on the Rat King, players will find themselves in plenty of familiar combat and stealth gameplay. The trailer offers a solid look at how the series' familiar mechanics are being translated into VR, while also showcasing glimpses of various gadgets, detective vision, bosses, characters, many of whom we'll be very familiar with, and more. Meanwhile, a narrower release window has also been confirmed for the title, which was previously announced as Fall 2024. Batman Arkham Shadow will release exclusively for MetaQuest 3 sometime in October. Our fears. It feeds the shadow deep inside us. You're everything that's wrong with Gotham! I'm done holding back! New Little Nightmares 3 Gameplay Trailer Supermassive Games has plenty on its plate, from the casting of Frank Stone to Directive 8020, but Little Nightmares 3 still ranks as one of the studio's most exciting upcoming titles. And though we still have a while to wait for it as previously confirmed, the horror title recently got another showing at Gamescom opening night live with a new trailer. Little Nightmares 3 is once again going to see two key characters taking center stage, and this trailer focuses on their pairing showing how low and alone will be able to help each other get past the many harrowing and terrifying hurdles that they will encounter throughout their journey. Of course, unlike its predecessor, Little Nightmares 3 is also set to support co-op, which will add another layer to how the two characters will be able to work together. Little Nightmares 3 is due out in 2025 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and the PC. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle release date. Machine Games' Indiana Jones and the Great Circle received some new gameplay with actor Troy Baker discussing all of the different aspects of the action-adventure game. Perhaps most importantly, the developer also confirmed a release date of December 9th for the Xbox Series X and S. But that's not all. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle will also be launching in spring 2025 for the PlayStation 5, as rumors claimed leading up to this event. Going by the usual end date for the season, it could launch as early as March 21st, 2025, or as late as June 21st. The gameplay showcased is also pretty noteworthy, with Indy traveling the world, from desert caves teeming with scorpions to dense forests in pursuit of the Great Circle. If the claustrophobic confines of some areas aren't enough, there are also open areas with various secrets to discover. Players will use Indy's camera to search for clues and note them in his journal. Mafia The Old Country The next Mafia game has been finally announced, as leaks have insisted in recent months. Called Mafia The Old Country, the title was announced by 2K and developer Hangar 13 to close the show at Gamescom Opening Night Live. As reports claimed prior to release, Mafia The Old Country is a prequel set in the 1900s, and will take players to Sicily, where it will tell the story of the origins of organized crime. Whether that means the original game's Don Salieri will make a return as leaks had claimed remains to be seen. 2K and Hangar 13 have confirmed that they will be sharing more information on the title this December. 
Mafia the Old Country is in development for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. It's due out in 2025, with 2K confirming that it will be releasing during fiscal year 2026, which means it won't launch until April at the earliest. Fatal Fury City of the Wolves release date. SNK has announced that Fatal Fury City of the Wolves, its follow-up to cult classic fighter Guru Mark of the Wolves, will launch on April 24, 2025. It'll be available for the Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and PC via Steam and the Epic Game Store. In the meantime, there's a new trailer highlighting several features. The sequel launches with 17 characters, with new systems like Rev and returning mechanics like SPG, similar to Street Fighter VI's World Tour minus the 3D avatar and exploration, players can select fights on a world map with different rules. Other notable features include color edit for altering the colors in a fighter's hair, eyes, jacket, pants, shoes, and gloves. You can even customize textures and their colors depending on the clothing. Crimson Desert New Bosses Gameplay Pearl Abyss's Crimson Desert has re-emerged at this year's Gamescom with a hands-on demo for attendees to take on four unique bosses. For those at home, it first showcased the White Horn in an extensive gameplay trailer. Three more trailers are now available, focusing on the Queen Stoneback Crab, Reed Devil, and Stag Lord. The Queen Stoneback Crab appears as an unassuming boulder with various valuable gems. When Cliff's ally, Diederik, attempts to mine it, the creature comes to life. Mounting it and destroying its gems and stab the vitals is necessary to bring it down. The Staglord is a more drawn-out fight, residing in some ruins and taking on intruders. He's no slouch with the sword and shield, keeping up with Cliff and executing some hard-hitting skills. Finally, there's the Reed Devil, a short-statured foe residing in the reeds of Frozen Soul Mountain. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl New Gameplay Though it provided a 35-minute gameplay deep dive last week, GSC Game World showcased some new gameplay for Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl during the Xbox at Gamescom livestream. It included combat at nighttime, with players fighting off bandits and other terrifying threats. While three bandits don't seem like the biggest challenge, players must be careful from the outset. This means hiding, peeking around cover, and using medkits, especially since enemies will try to outgun and outflank the player. Then there are the mutants, with a specific type capable of entering camouflage and surprise attacking before slinking away. Initial encounters against them may be a struggle, but as players loot more and find better equipment, they'll stand a better chance. The sheer attention to detail of the open world means players will find encounters and little stories which add to the sense of discovery. The world map is described as so huge that even the developer is discovering new things when revisiting some locations. Players have significant freedom in their actions and can be merciful or cruel. The game may punish you for the latter though. Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl launches on November 20th for the Xbox Series X and S and PC. It will receive two expansions post-launch. Atom Fall New Gameplay and Release Month Rebellion recently announced Sniper Elite Resistance for release next year. However, it also has Atom Fall, an intriguing post-apocalyptic first-person survival title. During Xbox at Gamescom, a new trailer confirmed its launch for March 2025. Some extensive gameplay was also revealed, starting with the player visiting a telephone booth and receiving a call to kill Oberon. They venture into Windscale, where several different characters reside. Some will ask you to do things and provide help in return, and potentially a way to escape. However, there are shades of gray, and deciding who to trust is important. Interestingly, you can't just select dialogue choices willy-nilly, annoy a character, and you close off any potential leads. Of course, you could kill everyone and finish the game. Alternatively, you could kill no one. The choice really is yours. Combat is pretty visceral, with players able to employ weapons like cricket bats, which can be thrown, and firearms. You can also kick enemies to keep them off balance. One of the more intriguing bits involves pointing a gun at an unarmed enemy who raises their hand in surrender. A good tactic to avoid bloodshed unless they're barreling right at you. Atom Fall is coming to the Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, PC, and Xbox One. Stay tuned for more details shortly. Phantom Blade Zero New Gameplay After the success of Black Myth Wukong, S Games' Phantom Blade Zero is perhaps the next big hack and slash title to look forward to. Though its promised demo isn't ready to go public yet, it was available to play at Gamescom 2024. The trailer runs through three key bosses, 
Pai Sha, the Frenzy, Commander Cleave, and Huang Xing, the sunken pillar of Kun Lun. The deflection and posture systems are similar to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, right down to the glowing attacks that deal more damage to the latter when parried. Nevertheless, the animation work is fluid, especially when executing different combos. Some interesting abilities include returning Tai Sha's explosive projectile at him for a sleek finish. You can also spot the protagonist using Cleave's weapon in the third fight and its unique moveset. Phantom Blade is coming to PS5 and PC, reportedly targeting a Fall 2026 launch. Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster Who is voicing Frank West? It's been announced that the protagonist of the upcoming Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, Frank West, will be voiced by Jace Patrick. It was previously confirmed that Terence J. Rodolo, the original voice of Frank West, would not be reprising his role. Speaking with IGN in an interview, Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster developer stated that it was, quote, pleased with the work he's done for this project. Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster is coming to PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S on September 19th. The game will also get a physical release on consoles on November 8th. Starship Troopers Extermination 1.0 Release Date Developer Offworld has released a new trailer for the co-op shooter Starship Troopers Extermination. The new trailer shows off some of the different worlds players will be landing on to take on hordes of bugs. The trailer also reveals that the game will be exiting its early access phase on PC on October 11th, which is also when PS5 and Xbox Series X and S versions of the game will be out. Rather than focusing on the gameplay, the latest Starship Troopers Extermination trailer instead chooses to focus on the trials and tribulations of being a Starship Trooper, with players having to take on gigantic hordes of bugs while also trying to complete various objectives. Retrieval Developer 333 Studios wrapped up the recent future game show with the reveal of its cinematic horror game, Retrieval. It currently doesn't have a release date and will be coming to PC and consoles. Notably, the trailer for Retrieval was captured by making use of NVIDIA's RTX DI technology, which is set to offer an improvement on ray trace shadows and reflections in the game. It will also feature 3D audio making use of Dolby Atmos, and the sound design is being handled by Wildcat Records. Retrieval will have players step into the shoes of Hannah Loesch, the commander of a research team stranded on the distant planet Rihalian. Players will have to tackle different challenges and adversaries in their bid to survive on this world. As she spends more time at the base, Loesch starts to slowly uncover some chilling secrets that are hidden in the harsh planet. The game promises to offer immersive storytelling with rich character development as well as gripping gameplay. Post-Trauma Release Date A good classic survival horror experience isn't something that you can ever really turn down, so it's no surprise that post-trauma has been generating the kind of excitement that it is. Developer Red Souls Games and publisher Raw Fury's old-school Resident Evil and Silent Hill-inspired horror game has looked increasingly promising. And at the recent Future Game Show at Gamescom, its release date was finally revealed. Previously given a Fall 2024 launch window, it's now been confirmed that Post Trauma is set to launch on October 29th. Its newest gameplay trailer showcases the abandoned, decrepit environments that players will be exploring, and of course, the many different kinds of monstrosities you'll cross paths with. Beyond that, you can expect plenty of puzzle solving, inventory management, and more, which we see glimpses of in the trailer as well. Upon its release in October, Post Trauma will be available on the PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. AILA Developer Pulsatrix Studios and publisher Fireshine Games have unveiled a new first-person horror game, AILA, set in the near future. This game will have players take on the role of a game tester, Samuel, for a new fictional AI. As part of his job of being a game tester, Samuel will have to take on unsettling scenarios created by the AI by tapping into his darkest fears. The game hopes to tackle a host of different horror subgenres throughout its different levels, with players having to take on cults, take part in medieval combat, and solve intense puzzles. AILA is being developed using Unreal Engine 5, and will be making use of the engine's advanced graphical technologies, including Lumen and MetaHuman. The game hopes to be an atmospheric game that immerses players deeply in its many worlds. AILA is slated for release on PC in 2025 and currently has a listing on Steam where it can be wishlisted. 
And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.